So we'll find the distance between these. We'll find the exact distance. And also the three decimal place approximation, meaning that we may have to show the square root. Maybe it's going to be in a fraction too. I don't know. But the formula may be the best way to go on this. I mean, you could find the distance between these, right? How far is it from 1 8 to 5 4 Whatever. Okay. Maybe some of you guys can do that in your head. Maybe you need some paper. I'm just going to use the formula on this one. Again, I don't know that it's going to make it easier, though. All right. So I'm going to make uh, this first point my x1 and y1 values. So I got 2 thirds and 1 eighth for the x and y, respectively. And we'll make this an x1 and a y1 there. So 8 fourths. I can simplify that to 2. Maybe that was, they thought that was going to be a little bit more tricky than it was. And the y, that's my 2 value, sorry. The y2 is going to be 5 fourths. So if I wanted common denominators, this is 2 over 1. And I would be multiplying the denominator by 3 to get a common denominator of 3. On this uh, y value stuff, I'm going to have to multiply the 4 by 2 and the 5 by 2 to get a common denominator of 8. So, now, we have the square root of 2 thirds minus 6 thirds, and we're going to square that. We'll add that to 1 eighth minus 10 eighths and we'll square that as well so this gives us the square root of uh, it's going to be a negative four thirds and squared plus that's a plus uh, negative nine eighths which we will also square so this ends up being the square root of 16 ninths and then we're going to add 81 60 fourths. I'm not going to find the lowest common denominator because, well, maybe it will be, I just don't know, and it's going to suck to find something else. So all I'm going to do for this fractions is I'm going to take 64 and multiply it by 9. And the 81 times 9, hopefully you guys see what I'm doing there. And then I'm also going to take the 9 and multiply it by 64. See how if I multiply those two together, it gives me a common denominator, whether it's the lowest one or not, I don't know. So I'm going to take 16 and multiply it by 64 as well. This gives me the square root of some huge numbers. 16 times, oh, what the heck? 16 times 64 in my calculator gives me... 10, 24, and for the sake of space, I'm going to skip a step, kind of. And then we got uh, 81 times 9, which is 729. And 64 times 9 is 576. Like this right here. All right. Well, this gives us the square root of 1024 plus 729 is 1,753 all over 576. The fraction does not simplify. So let's see if we can factor anything out of this. Okay, as it turns out, we can split these two up. 1753, I used a calculator, by the way, which I think you guys realized. Uh, if I take the square root of 576, I get a whole value. What I got was um, 24. Now, this is would be the exact value of that, okay? The distance. But we wanted an approximation. So... Let's give them the approximation that they want. 
When I put this into my calculator, it also gives me an approximation of 1.74454, but we only wanted three decimal places, so I'm going to round that four up, then I just erased up to a five. This is the approximation.